guys welcome back to part three of the engine bay painting in my third gen Camaro my last video where I left off I got the base coat down but once again I ran into an adhesion problem on the passenger side of the bay I applied it too thick and it started cracking and peeling up in uh, just a few areas so as you can see I went I hit all that with 120 grit and I went and hit it with 320 and then once again I uh, hit everything with wax and grease remover etch primer high build primer and then I went and sprayed the whole bay with base coat once again. Now what I ended up doing this time was I just went and I got some uh, cans mixed up of the same color and I went, I hit the area that I had to reprime and then I went and put uh, one wet coat over the whole bay just to make sure that uh, there wasn't any problems with the color and everything was going to match up fine. So that worked out good. The reason I went with the cans instead of doing the spray gun, there are a lot of areas that I couldn't get into, like underneath the strut tower here, in the back there by the uh, steering column. Same thing over here, I couldn't get underneath the strut tower. So just using the can, I got into all those tight spaces, no problem. Now for my clear, I'm gonna be using VHT Engine Enamel Gloss Clear. It's gonna stand up to heat, it's gonna stand up to grease, stuff like that. So it's an engine bay. I want something that's going to be durable. I'm not looking for a high gloss shine. I'm just looking to uh, protect the paint. So I'm going to set up the time lapse, get some uh, gloss on this thing, let it dry. Then we're going to start putting it back together.
All right, so as you can see, I got the clear coat applied. Right now I have my new hood shocks installed there. I got all the tape taken off. Uh, the only thing I haven't really painted, I got to do the strut mounts here. And a couple little details, like I'm probably gonna pull the horn out over there, I'm gonna paint that black. Uh, any other little stuff I could find, I gotta clean up the boot down there, I got a little paint on it. But uh, for the most part, the painting is finished. I'm not gonna paint the shock towers today, I'm probably gonna get the car all back together and running, and then I'm gonna come back, I'll just lay some plastic around the uh, shock tower and then spray with some uh, trim black. The same thing for the cowl up here, I'm gonna do that in the trim black. Uh, but all that could be done later. Right now I'm going to start uh, reassembling this thing. I'm going to start with the AC box, get the uh, clutch back together, the brake booster back together, uh, intake on, and then last thing I'm probably going to do is get the bumper on once I'm finished with everything else. So I just wanted to stop a second here to show you guys how I ran the harness. So the harness before for the headlights, it was running down, it comes out of the firewall here and then it was running along the frame rail and then it came up over here and then uh, went to the horn, went to the headlight, came over under here and then went to the other headlight. So pretty much what I did was I just ran it up and under the fender here being I don't have the cable for the hood latch anymore. So that fit under there nicely. I think it looks neater than just having it running down the middle of the frame rail there. It's a little more tucked away. Uh, you can see I got all my connectors uh, hanging out there, ready to go, going down to the turn signal. Underneath, it's tucked under here. Those are my uh, pusher fan wires. And then they come out here, which is where my relays are. So right now I'm gonna go and um, try to get everything back inside the car back together. So I'm gonna put the clutch uh, master back in. I got a new uh, a heat shield for the clutch line I'm gonna install. I'm gonna sleeve that over the uh, clutch hose and I'm gonna put in the booster and get the interior panels back together. And then everything else will just be out here in the bay. ahead I got my um, heat shield installed here on my clutch line now like I said I'm using a tick performance uh, clutch master cylinder so I didn't even realize it but it actually comes with a uh, a little like heat shield sock on it but uh, when I was under the car I noticed how much this is this line is literally just resting on the header if you can see over here comes out of the transmission goes over the header and then comes up the side here you can see where uh, the foil insulation is but right over here it's just resting on the header like even the way it was before it was just sitting there so at least I mean I was at the track I was having issues getting into fourth gear so as I was going down the track maybe this was heating up and that was causing the problem, I'm, we'll see. But I figured I'll put this uh, insulation on here. It should help for now. I really wanna go and move this line. I know a lot of people run this inside the car, like I just make a hole right here 
and run it inside the car along the uh, side of the trans tunnel and make another hole in the firewall and have it come out. So I might do something like that when I uh, upgrade the headers next year. But for now, this should do. So here we are, completed engine bay. So I'm just gonna go over a few things I did here um, that I didn't really go into detail on the video. First thing I did, I went and I cleaned up all the wiring. So as you can see, here's my headlight harness. Like I said, I ran this under the fender here instead of along the frame rail. And then I went and I uh, cleaned it up. I changed the loom, I wrapped it in electrical tape, made it look real nice. Same thing for the engine harness. The loom was uh, still good because this is a relatively new harness from when I did the swap. So I just uh, cleaned it up, I fixed all the loom, I cut out any extra wires, you know, shortened a few things, wrapped it in electrical tape, really cleaned it up. Same thing over here for the AC box. Any extra wires I wasn't using, cut them out, made them look nice. I got my new heater hoses in. I uh, cleaned up my AC hoses a bit here, got them all uh, strapped down, out of the way as best as I can. You can see I got my strut mounts painted. I also went and got a new set of spark plug wires. I got some uh, MSD wires. Before I was just running factory like AC Delco wires that were rubbing on the headers. I didn't have any misfires or anything, but uh, these are nice because the uh, bottoms of the boots there bend up so you can kind of angle them away so uh, they don't rub against the header. So these work really good. Then I went and painted my hood hinges. Same thing, I did this in like a flat black. New support shocks as well. The only thing I have to finish up I haven't done yet is the cowl over here. I'm gonna paint that like a satin black too. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So that's really the only thing left as far as paint goes. That and I'm gonna pull that horn out over there and I wanna spray that black. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much finished and I think it looks great for, I mean, using uh, for not removing the motor. I mean, I got, everything got covered great. I'm really happy with the way it looks. You know, the finish is nice. It's not too glossy like I wanted. The blue looks great. Uh, I really want to change this. I was looking online, see if I can maybe get like a, uh, I know they sell them. When I had my Monte Carlo, they uh, sold this piece. You could get it in like uh, steel and it's like polished up. I want to see if they sell something for this car. I haven't seen anything. Uh, if any of you guys know, of anybody who makes one please let me know because 
Not only this is just, you know, plastic and it's kind of cracked, but I mean, I got this huge hole here now because I don't have the hood latch anymore. So if, they, if somebody makes like a custom piece that uh, maybe polished up or even like a flat black, I would definitely replace this with that. But I haven't found anything yet. The most I could find is like a factory uh, replacement part for that, which is also plastic and it also has the huge hole in it. So that doesn't really help me at all. So that's going to do it for engine bay painting part three. Look out for videos coming up because I'm going to do... Um, a few little mods to this thing before winter hits. A little uh, suspension upgrade I've been wanting to do for a while. So you're definitely not going to want to miss that. And uh, all around, little by little, I'm going to be doing a, a few little mods to this car. And then come the beginning of next year, I'm going to be doing a power adder. So you're definitely going to want to watch out for that. I'm going to be making videos, building my fuel system and uh, getting the parts together. So you're not going to want to miss that. If you guys enjoy these videos, if you want to see more, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.